The city of Abilene has a new website at abilenetx.gov and we'd love to show you around. Now, first off, this site allows you to sign in to be able to easily get to your own preferences and account. This isn't at all necessary, but if you'd like to set up a profile, go ahead and do so. And then once you do that, you'll see this My Applications pop up. And under this, you can quickly get to things of your preference, like calendar, activities, form center. Now, you'll also see that this is something that we're working to fully uh, utilize ourselves. So keep an eye on that to see more coming here in the future. So taking a look here at our main home page, you'll see along the top are four navigation tabs. Uh, and then we have six hot buttons across the bottom that she's really just pulled out our most used and most clicked services. You'll find all of those items though also within the tabs. And then of course on every page, front and center, you'll always find our nice big search bar so you can easily just go right in and search for what you might be looking for. Under the government tab here, you'll find all the basic information about our government. So we're talking about city council, also boards and commissions, uh, agendas and minutes, our city management team, election information, and also basic information about the city. Going next to departments, this is where you get more to the administrative side of the city. You're gonna see every city department linked here. You can easily access elements within those departments as well. So going from animal services down to water utilities as well. Next, we get to communications, and this is basically everything the city does to communicate with our residents and our citizens. And from here, you'll see links to all of our social media profiles, and of course, things like public information requests or our new city newsletter as well. And then finally, up top, you'll get to online services, and it's exactly that, everything that we offer that you can do business-wise with the city online as well. So you'll see contacts, applying for elements, a register, request, review, and again, sign up for things like email lists and also code red. Back here at the main home page, after we've gone through these navigation tabs, you'll see again, here's our big search bar and our uh, six hot button links. As you scroll down though, is where you'll get to the next section where we have more on latest news and highlights. This is just neat stuff going on with the city. Feel free to click through this carousel here and get the latest information and highlights of what we have going on in town as well. Scrolling down here on the main homepage, you then get to what's called announcements, which is really a new calendar module that's pretty cool. As you get into this section, you'll see where you'll see a, a calendar that has options for you to check out events and dates here, what's going on. So as you click on one of these dates, as you'll see here, it then takes you to the calendar module where you're able to customize exactly what you'd like to see and what kind of notifications you'd like to get in your own inbox. So here, again with the calendar, you can go to select a calendar and say, for example, you're really just interested in knowing when city council meetings are going on, what's happening at, say, the library, parks and rec, and senior services. Once you do that and click search, you'll see that those calendar options, those events and dates and happenings are what will come up for you in the calendar. And if you choose, have them also sent to your inbox or to your text as well. Finally, back on the home page, scrolling down beyond the calendar announcements module, you'll get to stay up to date. By clicking on this button here, you get to what's called the Notify Me section. You'll also find that under Communications as well. But this is where you do that signing up to get direct uh, information in your inbox or direct text messages to your mobile phone about what's going on at the city. So once you sign up and get that going, you can choose uh, what notifications you'd like to get. For example, would you like to get just news releases from the city or also get some police news releases or events coming from Parks and Rec and Library or also again getting down here and getting to choose exactly what you'd like to have happen and come from our calendar module as well. And back here on the home page underneath stay up to date and that notifications and notify me option you get the contact information and some quick and helpful links as well at the bottom of the page. So this is a look at the new abilenetx.gov. We love for you to come check it out. Also, when you're in departments, you'll find that we have uh, five of our city departments that have gotten their own uh, pages that very much follow the same template, so they're easy to navigate, but please do go in there. We have the convention center, fire department, library, 
Parks and Rec, and of course the police department all have their own page to check out as well. We have put together one more page that's something special called Your Abilene Investment. You'll get to it from that communications uh, navigation tab on the home page, but this is one place we want people to come to be able to see everything about city projects going on and get all the information that you may find helpful. So here you'll find the latest on everything from the downtown hotel, and Heritage Square, also uh, the water meter replacement program, street maintenance fund, and even the latest on our bond projects from back in the 2015 bond project election as well. So please do come online, check out the new AbilenTX.gov and tell us what you think.